Morning, everyone, and welcome to our heavily parent holy community, Oceania Hundoke, with Reverend Yutaka Yamada. On this day, Thursday, the 5th of August, or the 27th of June, in the ninth year of Chongnopu. As always, let's begin with a bow to our heavenly parent and true parents, Shariot Jumbo. And let's recite our family pledge, both in Korean and English. Thank you. Kajom men se chil. Chonil kuk juin. Uri kajongun. Cham sarangul junsimago. Ponyone hel tonga young girl den. We hanun sen fal tohayo. Shimjom muna segeru. One song hai kosil men se hanaida. Family pledge number seven. Our family, the owner of Chungungu, pledges through living for the sake of others to perfect the world based on the culture of heart, which is rooted in the original lineage by centering on true love. Let's, uh, I'm wondering if uh, I can ask uh, Mitty to offer the opening prayer today. Are you there, Mitty? Can you offer the opening prayer? No, maybe not. <clears throat> okay, she's not there. All right. I will offer the prayer. Okay, please join me in prayer. Uh, dear Heavenly Parents, as always, uh, we ask your presence as we come together in the morning to offer Hundoke together as a community. We're a Heavenly Parent holy community, as our True Mother is designated, a community that is one in heart with you, our Heavenly Parent, and our True Parents, you know, who are one in heart with our leadership and one in heart with our membership that we all have the same desire and, and purpose you know, to be able to bring about you know, the true salvation of all humanity and to relieve the suffering heart of you, our Heavenly Parent. You have longed to see your sons and daughters come together and to work together. And finally, after thousands of years, you know, today we live in a time of our true parents. We live in the time of the fulfillment of your will. We see and understand the value of our true parents. And uh, now that our father is in heaven and our mother on earth, they have crossed both realms. And we are now living in, in a situation where the emergence of the substantial Chongyong group is about to take place. And we pray that the quick and smooth transition uh, into a unified Korea comes about you know, according to mother's declaration that in uh, 2022, which is coming very soon, I can see a united Korea centered upon you, our heavenly parent, centered upon the freedom of uh, religion, the, the freedom of humanity, and the, and the freedom you know, of the, the right of you know, true sons and daughters to live in a world of peace and harmony. So we ask your presence here today as we listen to Reverend Yutaka and we can understand your heart through his words and understand uh, how to you know, fulfill our responsibility and to bring about you know, the world that you long desired. So I report this in our collective names and in our name is John and she's around me a blessed central family, aren't you? Thank you, everyone. Uh, let's... Uh, as always, yeah, offer a, a warm welcome to Reverend Yutaka as he begins to share with us. Thank you. Good morning, our brothers and sisters. Thank you for joining today's Oceania Morning Fundoke and Morning Devotion. 
beyond the nation and beyond the region and even beyond our physical world all spiritual world our ancestors also are joining together and put over our heart to our heavenly parents and true parents so with a sincere devotion and prayer let's begin today's new day so really today also a beautiful morning uh, last time uh, we share about um, inauguration of PCLC, Pacific Christian Leadership Conference. Do you remember this one? In our Pacific era, this Oceania region and also the Pacific uh, area, how we can prepare and inaugurate our Pacific Clergy uh, Leadership Conference. This centering on also Christian minister and Christian congregation and also denominations. When we see our in the world, there are many kinds of religion and even there are many kinds of denomination. And inside of Oceania also same. So call and gather and unite all our pastor or congregation of Christianity and offer our heart and to attend our God, heavenly parents, and go together with our three parents. This is the PCLC, Pacific Christian Leadership Conference. Of course, now we are the stage to prepare now for inauguration, but yesterday, our President Hori gave the message to us. Now, true mother gave the instruction and permission to have a inauguration conference in the beginning of the October. So we will now put more heart and prepare for that. Now we are reading about Tri Mother's autobiography and learning our uh, Tri Parents life course. We know each religion and organization have a mission, role, and responsibility. And also especially there is a role and mission in the Christianity, with Christianity and also the hope of Jesus. Through 2000 years history, God prepared the Christianity to welcome Savior, second coming Messiah and true parents. That's why Jesus came to true father in early day and asked our true father, please release and liberate our sad God's heart father's heart and also please liberate the sadness of human beings this is really the starting point and also during 2000 years of history of christianity continuously waiting the moment of marriage supper of the lamb so prepare the three generation of christian family our honsne temonim and uh, no 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 the chowon mo harmony honsne temonim and our true mother, centering a three generation of Christian family through heavenly parents send the true mother. And also there's a big expectation and preparation. That's why uh, Christian's role is important in order to fulfill heaven's will and heaven's mission and heaven's purpose. All our Christian denomination also gather together and fulfill the role. So this role is carried on with WCLC, World Christian Clergy Leadership Conference, and America a Christian a Clergy Leadership Conference. And in this Pacific area, our Oceania and Asian Pacific region too, this is the PCLC. That's why as the PCLC, we can also combine some joint choir team beyond the churches, beyond the denominations, to join a choir team, and also the initiate to educate our family education and youth education, peer education, and we can create to fulfill the heaven's will in this society, nation, and world. That's why I hope all our brothers and sisters, please put our heart and prayer and chanson and also create together with our friend of a Christian brother and sisters. So this is the now going to 
prepare on beginning of October. So please also pray for that. Of course, there are many kind of activities together. And in, of course, interreligious activity in the UPF side also we are preparing well. So we put our heart and um, establish uh, this PCLC in the beginning of October. So please pray for this. So let's continue our mother's of mother of peace through mother's autobiography. So yesterday in yesterday's part is sharing about family, the family love, family happiness, and family joy. So each sentence was really precious. What is the filial son and filial daughters? True filial son and true filial daughters. That is to get marriage and to show the children to the parents. This is real filial son and filial daughters. Why we miss our homeland? Because there is love and there is heart is there in the family. That's why this family and true family and true love is very essential and fundamental matter in our root of our happiness and also the love and joy. So how we can become the true man, true women, the person of true love, how we can practice of true love starting from our family. So mother is talking about the family, importance of family and meaning of the family. So today going to the next chapter, the different sub, sub chapter, a flower called sacrifice. So I will read this one. It was 1961 and our church was filled with brides and bridegroom standing solemnly side by side, each bride holding a banquet outside the gate. However, angry parents gathered. Through the windows came the clamor of raising voices. I'm absolutely against this wedding. Stop it at, at once. How on earth can you think this is a real marriage? They energized each other with their outrage. So this chapter, mother is sharing about the story of blessing. So we know about the blessing history and we know our true parents blessing. Someone decide the own children's bride and bridegroom, the marriage um, spouses. This is really, in the society point of view, this is really special things. Even they don't know each other, even they didn't communicate before, but they gather together and someone decide the spouse and immediately they will get the marriage. This is really the special tradition and special movement. That's why when two parents initiated this blessing ceremony in 1960, 1961, there are many kinds of issues in the society. That's why mother is sharing when they have a marriage blessing ceremony in Champadong, that time in Korea, their parents came to that place and they against this marriage ceremony and the wedding. So of course, as the parents point of view, maybe that is the national, uh, natural uh, react because own son and own daughter, even parents doesn't know who is, who is the partner, but they uh, receive the partner well and join this blessing ceremony happily and now start the wedding ceremony. Not only one couple, not only one, two couples, many couple join together of this wedding ceremony. That's why this parents' attitude or parents' react, reaction is very natural things. So mother is talking about that story. That Mr. Moon took my daughter to marry her off like this. I will never give my consent, let, let her out of there. One of them even throw coal ash over the gate. 
darting the wedding gown of a beautiful bride. When the Unification Church conducted its first large wedding ceremony, many throughout Korea stood in vehement opposition. Parents opposed to where the wedding turned the neighborhood around our church, where the newlywed should have been congratulated into a place of pandemonium. So this is the really big news in Korea, and not only inside of Korea, in the world level also same. When two parents conducted this kind of the large blessing ceremony in the world, always this is the bigger issue and bigger news. Not only the good news as the good way, also the negative way. This is really the famous in Korea and famous in the world. So when you join the blessing ceremony, when, when you receive the blessing, how was your parents' reaction? or your brothers and sisters, or your friends' reaction, they celebrate you, congratulate you, or they oppose you, or they ignore you. Especially our first generation, our senior blessed couples, and early day, people could not understand well. People also uh, cannot get the real vision and the message, and even they many people oppose our unification movement. That's why when our elder brothers and sisters and elder blessed family, when they receive the blessing, even family oppose, even family try to against even cut the relationship. Or there are many kind of severe or serious against or many things was happen. Maybe you know well, because you are the one who are there at that moment. 1960, 1970, 1980. So those history is really directly talking about all our brother and sister's story. So Sri Mada is sharing that. That's why family is actually starting point of everything. And family is the place of ideal and the root of the love. But because of human fall, still ideal family is not emerged in this world. That's why early day of our unification movement, especially our elder, uh, first generation or senior couple, not only own family happiness, also all family have to go through the indemnity course and also the clean up the past and the create the new future because of the process of those creating the new history, people receive many kind of a misunderstanding and against or many kind of confusion was happened in that moment. There are no words to describe how severely we were attacked and maligned at the time. Yet we overcame the heart and embraced the opposition. We have conducted what we call the blessing ceremony for over half a century. Blessing in marriage, hundreds of thousands of couples of all races, nations, and religion throughout the world. This is a testimony to the faith that blessing ceremony is a manifestation of God's love and truth. Okay. So we receive many kind of also the testimony who receive opposition from the family, from the brothers and sisters, and from the uh, friend or relative or everything. So everyone actually love family. Parents love family. Children, parents love children. And of course, children love parents. So because of love, Maybe all parents also oppose the children, oppose the children's decision because that time, because of miscommunication, misunderstanding, there is maybe parents' will, parents' expectation, and parents' hope. So those many kind of things was there at the moment because of uh, 
misunderstanding or could not recognize those things. So even those environment, but people went through centering on heavenly parents' wish and the future and the future world. So there is the vision and there is determination that time. So through those kind of history, and now in the world level, beyond the nation, beyond the religion, beyond the nationality, people started to accept the blessing ceremony and now started to organize and to start to make ideal family. So when we see our history and when we see the world level of providential activity now, even the government accepted the vision of the blessing ceremony and conducted the blessing ceremony together with the government. So 2018, 2019, our mother organized our world tour of world summit series in each continent and each national level. So when Trimada organized the world summit in each nation about Senegal, in Cambodia, and South America, or any place, when Trimada organized the summit, together, Mother organized about the international uh, blessing family festival. In Palau also, we organized and even government joined together, head of states, prime minister joined together, and even inter-religious, religious leader also come together and celebrate our international uh, blessing family festival. That's why in the beginning of the history, 1960, 1970, 1980, because they could not recognize the vision of the blessing, many opposition or many situation was happened that moment. But how about now? Even mother is conducting, even true father is conducting about the large level of blessing ceremony. Now, the media, they are not opposing. They are surprising, but in the same time, they are also praising our international blessing marriage festival. So totally, because of the foundation, many things is changing. So uh, we could see that. The marriage blessing ceremony conducted by the three parents is a sacrament rooted in single-minded devotion. It is a ceremony of true love and true love embodies sacrifice. A poet once said, love is the pain of giving up myself. We cannot achieve true love without offering ourselves. Man is born for women and women for men. Naturally and joyfully, we should sacrifice ourselves for our beloved. This is nowhere more evident than in our cross-cultural marriage. So when people join this blessing ceremony, they don't have own desire or they don't have own thinking. This moment is actually the offering ceremony to offering myself to heavenly parents, offering myself to God. This is a secret a ceremony. So man was born for women. Women was born for men. So already God created our spouse already in this world. Through blessing ceremony, we will meet this promised person. When God created human beings, in when we see the beginning of our history, God how many people God created? We know the Bible story, right? When we know the first ancestor, how many people God created? One man and 10, ten women? And God said, Adam, I created 10 women. You can choose anyone by yourself. God gave this kind of message or God said, Adam, I created 10 women. You can live together with 10 women as your wife. Did God say like this? God didn't say. God created one man and one woman, and they are promised to become husband and wife. This is the starting point of human history. This is the vision and will of God, will of our heavenly parents. God prepared everything for children as the parents. That's why person's spouse, person's uh, 
husband and wife already got prepared in the world. So in the God's view, do you think is there existence of national boundary, religious barrier or laces? When God sent the children to this world, already there is no boundary. Just God sent the children as the baby boy and baby girl. When you see your children also same, right? Only just baby boy and baby girl. There is actually no color of religion, no color of nationality. Just God gave the children to this world as only baby boy and baby girls. But because of the environment of human fall, selfishness, and not because yet original ideal environment. That's why even God sent the boy and girl and you, you yourself and your husband and your wife to send this world in somewhere. But because of the process of growing of their childhood time, they receive many kind of influence. And also there is foreign nature during the growing period of time also. There is many kind of lacking point. That's why when they meet each other through the blessing, there are many things to overcome each other. Many kind of challenging point. They, we can see many kind of lacking point from our spouse and we have to overcome. That's why this poet Tirumada shared Love is the pain of giving up myself. We have to give up for other person. When we give up for true love, when we give up for our husband and wife, then actually we can create ideal relationship of true love. So when we receive the blessing, when we stay together with husband and wife or family, of course, there are many kinds of challenging misunderstanding and argument, fighting, or many situation is happening, but through living together, overcoming and support together, sacrifice together through this process, we could find, we could create new my husband, new my wife, original God son, original God daughter, then our relationship become deeper and deeper and deeper. And now we cannot separate with my husband and my wife anymore. So through this blessing uh, movement, we met each other and even many history, but also we can, we could create the beautiful ideal relationship centering on God, centering on true parents, centering on true love. So this is really ideal and great vision of our blessing. You have graduated from a prominent university and you have a good job. Think about it. The person who is to be your spouse is of a different race and her family lives halfway around the world. Are you going to go through with this? When asked such a question, most people will waver. Our members, on the other hand, immediately answers, yes, I will. I am thankful to do this because it is for a great purpose. So mother is sharing about this moment of matching. So when we see the society, our friend or people, when they think about the marriage, what, what is the center, centering, cent, centering concept of their desire of marriage? What's the reason? What's the, what's, what is the purpose of marriage for each person's life? They will think, how I can become happy? How I can receive love more? How I can, how I can have a comfortable life or peaceful life or enjoyable, enjoyable life? This is basically motivation centering on own thinking, centering on own idea and centering on own desire. That's why even after get marriage, if they cannot get this expectation, if they cannot fulfill their desire, then what is their decision? They decide, maybe this person is not my person because my spouse does not fulfill my desire, does not fulfill my expectation. Then it's better for us to separate and divorce 
then it's good for each uh, each of us then they decide to di divorce and they go to the separate way but how about our unification movement our members if someone asks the same question so why you get marriage why you get blessing then some person this person say yes i will get married because my parents yeah this is maybe correct maybe many people some people also say and some people answer yes because for my spouse my husband and wife yeah this is also a good answer but some people answer why do you do you get marriage some people answer yes because of god well this is a really special answer and some people say yes because of all human beings in the world wow this is a really great answer why do you get married yes because world peace wow this is a great answer why you get married because of my ancestor so if you find the person who answer those things maybe this person is our unification members so our unification member second generation third generation well, their concept, their mindset is great. I will get marriage. I will get blessing for God, for world of world peace, for ancestors, and for the people of the world of history. So this is really the great person. So when they receive the blessing, there is no own concept and own thinking, even any nationality, own races, and own any kind of religion, they will join together. So the unification movement teaches that intercultural, interracial families are the key to world peace. During my husband's life, most of our members requested that he and I arrange their marriage for the purpose of their making a complete offering of their lives to God. In many cases, if not most, they knew that this meant they would be dedicating their life to someone who is quite different from them, who might not speak their language or know their culture. That's why international family, intercultural blessing. So how how is this? When you receive blessing, what kind of motivation or what kind of expectation or determination did you have? Do you remember that moment when you receive blessing, when you apply your blessing? In Japan case, Japan is almost one racist, only Japanese, one culture and one language. That's why basically in many Japanese people, it think they get married with Japanese. They don't think, many many of them are not thinking to get the international marriage. So how about, uh, how about you? If, they, if you didn't join our unification movement, do you think you will get the international marriage with another country person? I'm not sure, but how many people is living in the international place? That's why now we are joining unification movement under the guidance of two parents. We are living beyond the nation and beyond the races already. I'm not yesterday our uh, Reverend Ito share his story. He is Japanese, but most of his life, he is not living in Japan, another country. And after 50 years of his foreign life, he came back to Japan now and living in japan this year because of COVID, and he found the new things in japan even he is japanese so how about ourselves even you are different nationality but maybe many of you are not living in your country or you have many experience in the overseas so their mother is sharing and telling about the moment of the matching many people come together join together with two parents and receive the matching. So during the matching process, people receive the liberation, people saw the spouse through the dream and many spiritual work was happened. So even different nationality, different language, different culture, you accept any kind of person, join together 
and also live together. This is the really great things to offer your life for God and accept and live together. So really, I appreciate. Then surely our heavenly parents and true parents is appreciating you. So please imagine the moment when you apply the blessing, when you meet first moment of your spouse, when you when we think about this moment, how excited I'm also feel always the excitement, the first meeting and apply blessing, the join that moment of the blessing ceremony. So when we see our life or reflect our life, actually we are living the great, amazing life. I'm not sure how many people can live like you and like really our unification members offer everything, offer our marriage and go together with our heaven's will. So mother is sharing the those story, our blessing, beginning of the blessing and the history. And now the vision of the International Blessing Family Festival. So through uh, this chapter, we can think again the moment when we apply the blessing 20 years old 30 years old that time what kind of expectation did you have and how was your expectation was fulfilled well was still on the way through our blessing life there are many kind of things but also we can find the real happiness we can find the real joy from have your parents and two parents, and we can create, we can inherit those tradition, love and history to our next generation. So today we share about the blessing ceremony. You also have many kind of experience. You can share your heart and that moment, great experience, and we can create the great moment. So today, really appreciate everyone to join this Fundokei. Let's offer the happiness. Let's offer the chan song and grateful to great gratefulness to our heavenly parents and true parents. Thank you very much once again. Kamsamida. Thank you very much, Reverend Yutaka, as always, you know, really inspiring and, and enlightening and helping us uh, uh, really understand uh, our true mother and, and true father's heart. Uh, yeah, uh, during your presentation, uh, I, I just reflected upon uh, 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 my parents' reaction and my brothers' and sisters' reaction when I uh, told them that I was... Uh, uh, actually, I told my parents and, and, uh, 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 and brothers and sisters after uh, it was all already happened. They didn't know beforehand, but I just... Because I, I left Australia and uh, I, I wasn't... Uh, so great at communication, I'm probably still not so great at communication. Uh, and uh, and so you know, years went by, you know, my, my parents would, would, would send me things and because uh, uh, everything was through uh, basically letters, uh, you know, not, not instantaneous like it is today to talk. Uh, so everything took time and uh, uh, my my parents weren't happy because it wasn't Greek. My parents were in their mind that only a Greek person I'd be married to, not, nothing else. So, and uh, my dad did, was very racist, uh, and he didn't like uh, Asian people at all. He just lumped them all together as being Chinese. Uh, and uh, so when I got blessed to a Japanese, he, he wasn't happy. It took him a few years to digest it. And my brothers and sisters were pretty much convinced I was brainwashed you know, for, for many, many, many years. <laughs> uh, and uh, uh, but but I, I uh, but that statement, yes, I will. I am thankful to do this because it is for a great purpose. I genuinely had that uh, feeling. Yeah, you know, I really genuinely had that feeling when I got blessed. I was. Uh, and so happy that I, I did something finally right. I was 100% convinced. Because you, know, you never, you always doubt a little bit 
uh, did I do the right thing or not do the right thing? But when I got blessed, I was 100% absolutely convinced I finally did something right. And, uh, yeah, and I was, I was very thankful uh, about it. And yeah, that, that uh, uh, happiness and gratitude uh, never, never left me. Uh, and uh, in, in fact, over time, my mind has become more uh, absolute. Uh, I have no doubt uh, about true parents of God or, or anything uh, related to that, and uh, no doubt about you know, the true mother's you know, uh, movement of moving us towards building a substantial child book. And yeah, that's so uh, that's filled with a lot of. Uh, happiness and gratitude to hear that. And then I also reflected uh, the last part where you talked about how Reverend Ito, you know, 50 years not in, in uh, uh, Japan, but still Japanese. And I, I, I realized uh, that actually our first 20 years really determines our identity and mindset and culture. And that remains with us all through our life never changes that that first experience. In fact, psychologists you know, even say by 10 to 12 years, it's mostly set up who we are. Uh, even though teenagers struggle with their identity, they don't struggle with uh, their uh, place in the world, you know, the, 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 the constructs of uh, the society around them or, or, or their, their culture that they you know, have uh, assimilated into themselves. So, so really, I mean, uh, 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 Shizia is the same, you know, she's lived more outside of Japan than in Japan, but still identifies as Japanese. And I think, I think all the Japanese are like that. I think every country is like, like that. Uh, you know, we identify uh, with uh, where we were born. So we do long to return home. So yeah, uh, thank you everyone, uh, and uh, <laughs> uh, and uh, who would like to also share? Uh, yes, Kim, go ahead. Of course, everyone here has a has their own personal experience of the blessing, um, and that moment when Father mostly first generation, the moment when father said, this is the one. Um, but I, I just wanted to talk about my grandmother. Um, her, and I always get emotional. Yesterday, we had a sharing about grandparents and getting emotional. But uh, um, my uh, uncle died in Sandakan, the death march. And uh, the uh, so after I was matched, um, I had to call Grandma, and uh, but she was amazing. She just said, uh, "Kim, you can't hold the the past against the children," and. Um, she gave the blessing on our blessing. And uh, yeah, I've always been grateful for that. That's all. Thank you, Kim. Thank you. Uh, yes, I go ahead. Uh, good morning, of course. Uh, this brings us uh, back to the past. This, uh, okay. So um, I might have uh, told before that my father studied the principle uh, quite in the beginning. And then uh, he actually, I joined in Sweden. So he traveled to Sweden to check what kind of uh, organization it is. And, and he, after studying the principle, he 
uh, realized that um, by himself about fa true father. And then he said, if I was your age, I would do the same to join the movement. And so um, um, uh, then when we were matched year and a half before uh, the blessing, uh, I went home and uh, both father and mother very happy. So, um, and of course, father was thrilled because he knew that uh, I was matched by a Messiah. And years later, mother was a little bit, a uh, little bit on the, on the fence, but uh, years later, um, mother apologized and said, I'm so sorry, I didn't realize your position um, toward us. That's a long story. But um, uh, really, um, I had so much support from the uh, from the parents, and then later on, my siblings came on the <laughs> support. So, um, <clears throat> because of my parents, blessing is so important, and uh, and uh, being with true parents is uh, extremely important because of the foundation from my parents. Thank you. Yeah, thank you, Ayla. Uh, I guess Mary, go ahead. Morning. Yeah, um, my parents, um, they never actually were positive to our movement, but they never stood like negatively <laughs> against me, but um, I was matched in 80, um, 82 in, in Madison Square Garden. And even before I was matched, they'd already booked their tickets to come to New York for the blessing. <laughs> so that was pretty amazing. Um, unfortunately, my spouse had left the church from that blessing. And then it was in 1995, I was finally rematched with Douglas. And at that time, my parents came to Korea and uh, they received the, they were received the blessing in Korea. And I'll never forget, uh, Reverend Jun Young Park, he was standing right beside them when they were doing the holy wine and he helped them how to hold the, how to do the, the holy wine. They were 78 years old. And they were, yeah, they were 78 years old at that time too. So it was quite an amazing experience. Yeah, I just wanted to share that. <laughs> Thank you, Mary. Okay. Uh, Rex, have you got your hand up there? Yeah. No? Yes. Uh, yes, go ahead, Rex. Yeah. August 25th. <laughs> so we have a few days to go. 1992. The greatest blessing. So I uh, just this opportunity, I want also to wish Mr. Mark Befield, also a sister Jacinta, Eve Moro, and uh, all the 30,000 blessing, uh, happy blessing anniversary. So anyway, in my case, I received a blessing. I was not uh, in Congo, I was in Nigeria. And uh, my parents, they never take any uh, offensive side against me since I joined the unification. And also, I'm so sorry that they left. They didn't have opportunity to see my wife. Just only by photo, they saw, they saw her. But, uh, even though they didn't see uh, very positive. She had some uh, dreams, encouraging. So even though they, they didn't see my wife, even myself, they never see me often, just maybe once since I came to, to the Solomon Island. But a uh, blessing, so as a, as a 
Brother Kim say everybody have own experience. There's some who the parent completely oppose, some the parent very grateful or this or. In my case, I didn't receive any any persecution because my spiritual father was also my my uncle, my mom's brother. So they they will come as everything. So that was good. So this year we will celebrate also our blessing anniversary. Sorry, in the sermon just only us, Reverend Ku already left. So only us. I, I wish that uh, we can connect uh, spiritually with uh, all our compatriots in Australia. So thank you very much. <laughs> Thank you very much, Rex. Thank you. Uh, Steve, you have your hand up. Go ahead. Uh, good morning. This is a very, very interesting topic. When Susie saw the picture of me, we were in a matched picture matching. She saw the picture of me. She's listening, so I'm sure she has an opinion here too, but she said he, he looked like either a preacher or a lawyer, neither of which I like, but we'll see, we'll see. And when I met her father, her father looked at me and he said, so <clears throat> you, uh, you're not a rabbi, are you? And I, I said, no. He said, do you have a PhD? And I, I said, no. And there's a pregnant silence and he said, so, I understand that you're some kind of a Christian preacher. And I said, well, uh, yeah. And he looked at me and he said, well, then what good are you? <laughs> what? And when we would sit down on the Shabbos meal Friday nights on a big table with the family members, oftentimes he would interrupt me and he would finish my sentence. And he showed some pretty obvious disrespect. So finally, when Susie and uh, his wife left the table, I leaned over him and I said, uh, Chill, Chill, listen, um, I'm going to have to be honest with you. You know, the next time you interrupt me or finish my sentence or show common disrespect to me publicly like this, uh, I'm going to get my butt out of this chair. I'm going to walk out that door and your daughter's going to play hell me getting me back in here. You could teach. And he looked at me <laughs> and he said, I like you. <laughs> you know, you're my one true son. Uh, he, he was an interesting character. But he would test your mettle. And then with my parents, uh, interestingly enough, uh, back in the Mm. mid 90s we were given the opportunity to pre-bless couples and uh, so Susie and I went to see my folks on the Oregon coast and we asked them my dad was a bit of an imbiber he used to drink beer at night you know and we got there in the afternoon and spent the afternoon and evening talking and then at the end of the night I said Bob I, I want to give you and mom a special blessing Susan, I came here to bestow upon you similarly the way we were blessed. And so I want you to pray about that and think about it because it's significant, it's important to our couple. I think you'll realize it's important to your couple when you experience it. And he said, oh, no, we can't do it tonight. I've had too much to drink. And I said, no, no, in the morning we'll do it. He said, what should I wear? What should I wear? He says, well, how about a blue suit, a white shirt, and a red tie? He says, I got that. My mom says, what should I wear? And I said, you have a beautiful flower dress. She said, oh, okay, I'll wear that. So in the morning, he called over a neighbor who was a photographer, and they took pictures, and we, we blessed them. And we, Susie and I bought this silver platter and gave it to them, and it was etched on it, the first pre-blessed couple in the state of Oregon. So there's a, a picture of uh, how, and we also blessed, uh, you know, Susie's parents as well. But that was our experience with uh, our parents. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you, Steve. And uh, the last person this time coming to an end, uh, Reverend Seti, go ahead and put your hand up. 
Uh, good morning, everyone. Uh, I just wanted to talk about the Tonbo Heart, um, the beginning of what uh, Revenue Tucker talking about, uh, the, our interfaith work and uh, working with Christians. Uh, just yesterday, I had a, uh, it was my wife and I both didn't want to go to this appointment with uh, Reverend um, uh, Bismarck uh, Tamati of the Christian, what's the name? Uniting Christian Church of God. Um, but it, 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 it turned out it was such a kind of a, a consummation meeting of all that we had hoped for a long time for Christian churches. We had always been looking for a church that could embrace us and, you know, and, and, uh, and our movements work. And, uh, and, th and this was it, this uh, couple. Um, and the, the summer name is the daughter of uh, Dr. Va'a, uh, who has been working, he's our ambassador for peace uh, since uh, John von Dinklage and uh, Moreau family uh, were here. And uh, they, they uh, translated the divine principle a couple of times, Dr. Va'a, uh, the, 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 uh, the shorter versions one hour and uh, level four. But um, <clears throat> yeah, this couple had been excommunicated from, from the mainline church, Efakasa, uh, because they, they were young and vibrant. And, you know, he's a, he's a graduate of La Trobe University in Melbourne and in marketing. And they were, uh, you know, uh, qualified clergy. And, and they, had, they were full of ideas how to, uh, do the mission, but the, the the bigger church was not accommodating them and had rejected a couple of times. He was in charge of the of the Ifakasa TV too, uh, and he he brought profit to the TV and really boosted the uh, you know the dying TV, this Christian ch other Christian church. But he was just put, they were just persecuted so much. <laughs> And so uh, when we shared our hearts uh, about our mission here, they could really empathize with some of the things that we went through here as a, as a church over the decades. So uh, bottom line, really we found the, the common heart. So I'd like to, talk, to call it the Chonbo heart as Dr. Young uh, talk about the Chonbo heart. Um, this is really the era of that level of heart, hey, where you overcome, going beyond all the uh, religions and whatever. But there are such people out there and it's very inspiring. Um, so yeah, the onus is on us to accommodate, you know, to have the Chanbo heart and to, you know, meet in heart with these uh, leaders who are out there, the, the, the victorious John the Baptists. Um, so basically they've offered their TV for us for free use. So from three three thousand US dollars for TV three to five hundred uh, Samoan Tala for the National University of Samoa TV, and now we could get a free television with so much scope, and and they're embracing, you know, the UPF content and all the eight pillars and YSP. They're just so excited, and we're setting up a dojang in their um in their uh, facility uh, next week. So you know, working together. And so, you know, this is, uh, I'm really aware of this, um, uh, what mother says, heaven is in a hurry, or heaven can't wait. So even beyond, even, you know, before the meeting, my wife and I both felt inadequate, you know, <laughs> we're not, we're not ready to meet this guy, but heaven tells us to meet him, you know, so <laughs> because of PCLC. So uh, I really feel there are such good people out there and and god is our sponsor and they you know what, what we lack is out there you know <laughs> and god will provide the way because heaven is in a hurry that's all i wanted to share thank you thank you Reverend Sadie. thank you so let's uh join together in our unison prayer we'll just uh share the screen let's begin
Thank you, everyone, and have a great day as always, and see you tomorrow. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Happy today. <laughs> Thank you. Have a good day. Thank you. <laughs> Bye.